helped these cook very quickly. We got a nice. Oh gosh, I, I, I'm so shocked that this woman does not know how to cook. I just made my favorite air fryer chicken wings with a oh. protein ranch and it's wow she is she's more clueless than ever i think she's gone downhill like even from before so I have an egg oh no she's added another egg so she has a high egg diet she she is pretending to be a lizard hey frugivore welcome back to the frugivore diet channel so today's video we are going to check in with miss remy ashton with her what i eat in a week at home and um you know, I have done a few videos on Remy. If you haven't seen them before, go and check them out. You know, just letting her know that she's going to gain weight. She's going to yo-yo with her weight on the plans that she has been trying to stick to in the past. You know, just starving herself, you know, low carb. And it looks like, you know, her weight has not actually improved. Okay, it looks like she has actually gained weight. And I did predict it, right? I did predict it because it's just this is how it goes if you don't eat till you're satisfied if you constantly restrict yourself your body will rebel okay and you end up binging and you just gain a whole lot of weight and extra bits on top so just listen to me do it the right way eat in line with your species and all will be well your weight will will even out effortlessly but anyway um if you hear something in the background like some um, rain on the roof it's because it is just crazy weather at the moment, monsoon season as usual. And um, the studio is like wet inside, we're renovating, there's like literally water coming in the side. So yeah, I'll try and speak over the rain if it gets bad. Vote on the video if you wanna see more of them. Is she eating better? Much food. I love me a food delivery app and I was getting almost like two to three meals a day. Okay, so she's talking about getting food delivery. I want to go into the actual video. So let's go. Better. So if you guys want to download the free Fidelity Spire app, you can check oh, out. Oh, she's, yeah, the sponsorship thing, no. Okay. Guys. <laughs> Hello. Okay, guys, it is Monday morning. It is 9.50 a.m. I'm on my way over to go to the physical therapist. I will be honest, I've had nothing but a few sips of water this morning, mostly because I woke up so late. I slept in. Okay, so there is a big part of her problem. She's not prioritizing a proper breakfast on rising. She needs to do that, okay? It's unacceptable for it to be like 10 o'clock and you haven't had anything. You just had a few sips of water. It just sets her up later on for, you know, just a binge. Because her brain is like, oh, we need something really dense now because I'm really hungry now, rather than being in a stable, having a stable blood sugar. And um, yeah, so you can see, First up, that's the problem. Until about 10 minutes ago. So I didn't have time to make breakfast. I ate a really late dinner last night, so I'm honestly not hungry. But after physical therapy, I will be ravenous. We need to stop at the grocery. I feel like she is purposely doing that. Like she said, oh, I ate a late, a late dinner. I feel like she's purposely trying to do some in intermittent fasting. I'd say so. Grocery store, get some things. And I'm excited to cook some fun meals this week and get better on track with not going out to eat so much or getting food delivered because that has become a bad habit in the past two years. Let's get started. Yeah, so she's just been on the food delivery. I'm sure a lot of people who got, you know, enough money will be doing that. And um, yeah, it's unhealthy. So she's gonna make some fun meals. How about making some nutritious ones? I have a fruit basket in there, so I got an apple to have for breakfast. I always keep okay. little packs of peanut butter and almond butter in my car at all times. So for a delicious breakfast, I'm so hungry. I'm gonna put the oh, peanut wow. butter on the apple. So and she's not very organized, you know, with her nutrition. <laughs> but it's good to see there's a fruit there, and this is a plant-based breakfast. Um, but look, putting on almond butter, peanut butter, first thing on rising is like gonna sludge your bloodstream. It is just not beneficial for your energy. Don't let anyone try and tell you. Okay, there's people out there who try to say, hey, hey, it's great for you. Um, you need those Amigas and like you need this fatty, fatty food first thing in the, on the, in the morning for some reason. It's just not true. And just take bites. Mmm, classic combo. Can't yeah. beat it. Wow. Having lunch. I oh. <laughs> She's having lunch. Like, Remy, what are you doing? Holy beige. Holy wartime. Holy bunker life. Wow, what is that even? At a birthday party where we had canes on the party bus after a night of karaoke, which left us with about five giant containers of raisin canes. So for lunch, I'm having leftovers. I've got the last chicken tender, fries, <laughs> piece of toast, a delicious, just nutritious lunch. All is she serious? Did she just say it's nutritious? Beige, love it. Just got home. Oh, she said all beige. Maybe she's been watching our videos. <laughs> 
all beige. I love it. So I think she's being sarcastic. Hopefully that's a shocking, a shocking lunch. From the grocery store, the wagon is all loaded up. I got this thing to carry in all my, my groceries and things and it's honestly amazing. So I stopped at the grocery store. Okay, it looks quite like there's some vegetable matter, which is great. Um, let's move on. Week to drink. What's the juice of the week? Juice of the week, we got spinach, apples, carrots, lemon, celery, blood oranges, tangerines, and kale. So I prepped it all, washed it all, cut it all up, and now we juice. Yeah. Yum. Okay, great. She's having a juice. That's great. Get in those micronutrients. That's great. Um, obviously, it's always better to have a smoothie, but look, yeah, my expectations are adjusted for Emmy. All right, what's she got in here? I am steaming up some dumplings. These are by the brand Fly by Jing, and they are pork, shrimp, and scallop dumplings. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Pork, shrimp, and scallop dumplings. <sighs> little animals, oh, poor, yeah, pig, yeah, all like babies basically, some from the ocean, some from the land, and just really, really unhealthy for you. Obviously, like, she's, I don't know, she's like, oh, I'm going to like start cooking myself, you know, like don't, not ordering in, but this is like basically ordering in, and now she's just heating it up. What's the difference? By Jing, and they are pork shrimp. And I made more juice than I normally do today, so I'm just gonna pour it into the containers, and I think I'll have some left over. Pop it in the fridge, you're good to go in the morning. Yeah, well, it you lose a lot. You lose a lot of the living nutrition when you pop it in the fridge, you know, and it, you leave it a couple of days. I mean, you even leave it like a couple of hours, you lose a lot, but okay, okay. All right, little pre-dinner appetite it wow. was to make all of them, so. Doing it at home is just so much better. And again, therapeutic. All right, we're doing steamed dumplings. Got some chili crunch. Wow. Give it a mix. Little pre-dinner appetizer. Please. Uh, okay, so it's very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. She, I, like, I'm just shocked. Does she not realize what is help, helping her gain weight and affecting her health, like PCOS? It's This is it. Comment down below. Are you more of a steamed dumpling fan or a pan-fried dumpling fan? Over here, I just made one of the most delicious salad dressings from scratch that I've ever made. A quarter okay. cup of sherry vinaigrette, a quarter cup of olive oil, and then I did some Dijon mustard. I did three cloves of Whoa. freshly minced garlic, salt, hot honey to make it like a honey mustard, oh, and then garlic powder, onion powder, Whoa. red pepper. It looks really good and it tastes... Wow. Okay, so she's got a quarter cup of olive oil in there. She got the lamp oil in there. You're meant to be light in the corridors with that, not actually ingesting it. I always just think about like what the old timers, you know, if we could go back and show them a video like this, you know, back in the 1800s or even maybe early 1900s when they're like, probably 1800s, where they're lighting the corridors, you know, with the lamp oil, um, you know, with olive oil and stuff like that. Um, rather than eating it, they'd be like, what, they're eating? The lamp oil, what are they doing? It's even better. I need to start making dressings at home more. I put the salad dressing in this bottle and then I have some washed and torn kale. I'm gonna top it with dressing and then massage this all in with my clean hands. Hard to do with one hand. This is the kale that I'm gonna have for dinner with Cal. And then I made extra to pack a lunch for tomorrow. So this is a little play on a restaurant that I went to this weekend called Ospi in Venice. They're the most incredible kale salad I've ever tried and I kind of tried to replicate it. I was gonna put chicken, but I had some cocktail shrimp in the fridge so I figured might as well do oh, that. Oh gosh. Yeah, so please watch out for the food poisoning, the heavy metals. Oh no. These little filters of the bottom of the ocean basically. Like it, it's just, no, it's a no-no. And where are the carbs? At this point, she should be having fruit, okay? This should be a large fruit meal. And, you know, I have plenty of suggestions on fruit meals and smoothies in the Raw Till Four book, for instance. Also in Go Fruit Yourself. Uh, like, Remy, you need the books. I'm willing to send her the books. If someone has her PO, I am willing to send her the books. And maybe I'll look it up. But I was just thinking, yeah, she needs to read the books because... You know, this is this is the way that you're going to end up binging out later on because there's not there's like no fructose basically in this. You need fructose, hardly any glucose, and you're not not going to be satisfied. So please check out the fruit based diet and get results like others are getting long term results like massive weight loss, amazing weight loss, and um, your taste buds will start to change. You might be like, oh, I don't want to eat fruit. No, your taste buds will start to change and. We know Remy can afford to buy the most 
amazing fruit as well. You know, she can get whatever. So there's no excuse for her at all. Um, but for you, definitely try to get the best quality fruit you can. And it's going to be way more nutritious than any, any cooked stuff you, you're eating, if you can get it. And um, bananas, bananas are great as well. Anyway, check out the Raw Till 4 diet. Check out Go Fruit Yourself. Start getting amazing results. And also check out my Naked Lunchbox, especially for Emmy. It would be fantastic. The link to my books, instant download, is um, in the description below. First time oh, making. Wow. I feel like she's absolutely clueless still. Remy, you've got to be watching my videos. Like, we are trying to help you here, and you just seem to be just missing everything, missing the point. Two string onions, it seems to be going. Oh, look, this is just full of oil as well. She's frying up some onion in oil. Simply well. I just dip them into some flour with garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, wow. salt and pepper. I wow. think they look pretty good. To oh. Why do you think they look pretty good? They just look beige and deep fried. Like what? <laughs> oh, wow. This is the wartime breads out. Oh, I think they're already. Whoa, that's so fast too. Oh, gosh. note to self. These cook very quickly. We got a nice. Oh, gosh. I, I, I'm so shocked that this woman does not know how to cook. Really? Like. I don't know. Like, it just this is just terrible. I thought she would have. She was going to be like making some wholesome, at least you know, semi wholesome meals. But this is just a little huh? char on them. Cal's going to cook the burgers on our griddle. Are you uh, excited for big mouth bites? Very excited. They're more. Worth oh no, they both don't look. They don't. But they both do not look well for being so young. A little bit. Yeah. Do. <laughs> like, little seriously, and this is this is part of the reason here that they're eating. You know, they're eating the muscle tissue from a bovine, from a cow. Yeah, they're looking good. Woo! All right, dinner is served. This one looks a little more appetizing. Oh, no. No, no, no. Obviously, good to see that green, but, like, kale is even quite hard to digest. If you don't get the baby stuff, that can be too, but just remember that. There are better greens to choose, but still good to see some greens and avocado, I think, but you know what else was in there. A lot of lamp oil, animal, you know, bits and pieces, prawnies. And, um, yeah, the, the, like the bread and, ugh, it's just, it's just bad. We've got the burgers, the salad. And it's I'm such a little portion, like those tiny little burgers. I'm just going to eat the salad out of the bowl, but I added in a little bit of avocado, some sliced almonds, and crumpled up croutons, and that is dinner. It's the next morning. That's a shocker. That, that's, that unacceptable. Yikes. No, girl, no, Okay. Still in my pajamas. I'm on my way to Alicia's house because we have a big, pretty basic recording day. So I took my lunch on the go. I got my breakfast on the go. I grabbed a oh, wow, a green banana bar and a banana. Got the green juice. Let's go. I'm tired. Thank you. I'm tired. No wonder. You look what you ate. Look what you ate the day before. Literally, like that. It's just a fried day. A day of fried, fried bunker food. It's actually what I eat in the week. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, she's gained a lot of weight. She's on the gain big time. And, you know, she's going to be restricting again. And she's just living proof that the restriction um, diet, that she, because she's been calorie restricting all the time on and off, it just leads to you getting bigger. Just remember that. Okay, so you need to change the source of the calories, where they come from, right? Thanks, guys. Drinking my green juice. Getting glam. The makeup looks so fucking Girl, just like have a smoothie, please. I have a smoothie. Banana and my green juice. Love it. Health as well. Did you make Health that? Well. I did. Oh my god. I should bring some. It's really good. Oh, <laughs> I mean, please. Oh, who is that? <laughs> my gardening lady was like, "Do you want beets?" And I was like, oh, "Alicia loves beets." Wait. So I'm gonna grow beets for you. <laughs> is this Alicia? I'm <laughs> weird. Like, oh, no. we're gonna check in on Alicia too. No one likes them, but I like them raw, not like pickled. Uh, okay. it's milk okay. cookie. So good. Right. Now I'm having this Go Macro Bar. This is one of my favorite flavors. It is the Heartwarming Retreat Oatmeal. Heartwarming Retreat Oatmeal. Oh, wow. The, like, the marketing is just what? Heartwarming Retreat? That's what they're saying is in this bar. There's like just old grains, like old like protein powder probably. Oh, gosh. This is so, nothing fresh at all. Wow. I mean, at least it says vegan, right? At least it says plant-based. Chocolate chip, it literally tastes like a chocolate chip oatmeal cookie. So good. We're at the studio. I have my salad that I packed last night. It's been marinating all night and oh. I brought my avocado. Oh, 
so good. It really doesn't. I mean, okay, good. Good that she has some avocado, some greens, but it's still a low in carbohydrate. It has the um, contaminated prawnies in there. Actually, I'm pretty proud of it. A little taste test, shall we? And mm -hmm. salty as, salty and fatty as. Most you want to try my salad? I mean, it's pretty damn good, you guys. No, Alicia, we gotta we gotta check out what you're up to these days too. Did two episodes back to back. The thing that sounds absolutely best. To me no, we don't need to talk about these useless episodes. Um, so good. It's like perfectly jammy. Pretty good. I'm what? gonna have another. A jammy Let's egg. See how it tastes. Huh? It seems. To now I'm gonna drop them in an ice bath. Oh gosh, you got a bunch of eggs there. We'll see if this worked or not. If it did, this is the biggest life hack ever because I hate boiling eggs. Here goes nothing. It seems to be, oh, it's a little brown. Woo, hot, hot, hot. It looks uh. a little burnt. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Oh no. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you're not a lizard, sis. Oh, actually, so good. It actually like looks like a menstruation it looks like it looks like the unfertilized reproductive cycle of a chicken don't eat it don't eat it you are a frugivore you meant to eat fruit hey, jammy pretty good i'm gonna have another yeah mm. i oh. started craving a sweet treat so i am a 90 year old woman and i love tapioca mm -hmm. not not terrible not terrible tapioca but how about some fruit She's like got a very low fruit diet, fruit deficient diet. You know, millions of people are dying every year, literally millions from not eating enough fruit. Okay, so we need more fruit promotion going on. Oh gosh, what is this now? What, Remy? This is a sandwich that I made. I already ate a couple bites because I was hungry. I toasted the bread, I hollowed it out and then toasted this bread. I got it at the grocery store and then on it, this is like my dream sandwich. I have light mayo, roast beef. <gasps> Oh, roast cow. So she has roast cow on there. Forgot something. Okay, so obviously um, the bread is, looks like it's from space or something. It's just like some alien thing. Look at it. It's like not even real looking at all. Um, and then she's got some animal butt uh, and vegetables. Good to see if it's some vegetable butter for sure. But look, it's just not. It's not a good option. It is not a good option. It's better, it's better if you put this in a bowl, okay, you get rid of obviously animal bits and pieces, you increase the amount of vegetable matter, and you also put some rice, but it's better to put some potatoes, get some purple sweet potatoes for instance, delicious, white ones, whatever, sweet potatoes your preference, load up on them and then add this, okay, then Bob's your uncle. A coffee drink, please let me know if you are all okay, this is a double shot espresso latte with... Okay, that's what happens. When you eat a deficient diet like she is, you end up drugging yourself. This is a double shot espresso latte. So you can see, um, yeah, the drugs are coming in because she's under eating, she's binging, she's deficient in a diet. With almond milk and rice crispy treat coffee creamer. I almost forgot what it's called. Oh my gosh. She is a sucker for the marketing. Rice crispy creamer treat. Sissy, you gotta get on the whole food, seriously. Called It's Delicious. Quite possibly the best latte I've ever made in my life. Getting some work done, and then mm. we're gonna make some breakfast. All right, drinking my- I'm scared. I don't know what it is. I can never finish a coffee drink. Please let me know if you are also the same. I'm gonna rinse this straw. Well, it's I'm a good thing that you couldn't finish the drugs, right? Because it's not beneficial for your health at all. I'm gonna have my green juice that I made. I usually It doesn't like have anything that you need. I mean. People like unnatural vegan having coffee, having like multiple cups of coffee while she is pregnant. Gonna do a video on that soon. She can come up with all the studies in the world if she wants. Like, oh, it's okay, it's safe. We know it's not. We know this is not good for, for the baby, right? Having the drugs, there's no actual benefit to her health from having it. And um, her just pretending that it's like, okay, because she's addicted is disturbing you know you should always be putting your baby first not your addiction i like to start with green juice before coffee in the morning but i was really tired today and I'm, you are doing it wrong <laughs> okay oh. now hear me so okay so she had some green juice all right good now if you are not eating your soft boiled medium boiled or hard boiled eggs what? with coconut aminos you are doing it wrong oh I promise wow so she's just gonna to you 
It is so Eight. much better than adding Two salt. Eggs? Okay, I'm gonna be oh. honest, I've never tried this brand and it's a little more- It's a lot of cholesterol as well. Like seriously. Glazy than I've ever seen. I usually do the Trader Joe's one and this time I splurged and this looks a little See, scary. She's trying to get some sweet with the co coconut aminos cause like her frugal brain is like, um, lizard food ain't gonna cut it sis. So can you please go and, you know, the brain just like pushes her to go and get something sweet. But let's give it a taste test. Mm-hmm, mm. Or something what? of sweet origin, you know? Oh. I actually prefer that. It's so good. It adds like sweetness, saltiness. It's perfect. Delicious umami flavor. Oh, you can see how dead that green juice is too. Mm -hmm. It is seriously so- Oh, what? So was that a- Hang on, was that a breakfast? She just had like coffee, coffee and two eggs. Um. So gloomy today. I had to bring out the giant studio light just for the kitchen. So I just went out into the garden and replanted a bunch of stuff with my friend Chai Ming and I worked up an appetite and I'm so hungry. I want to have this as a snack while my next meal is cooking. If you have never tried the soup dumplings, these are particularly the pork ones from Trader Joe's. They're so good. <sighs> Pig dumplings. Good. They cook in like two minutes in your microwave. And yeah, if something cooks in two minutes in your microwave, be very, very suspicious of it. Run the other way, throw it in the bin, basically. And they cost like $3 or so. They're really hot and steamy right now, if you can see, which is the perfect cold weather day Ugh. snack, which is happening. It's the perfect bunker food. Put it in your bunker. Put it in your bunker. It's kind of deflated, but basically- So look, it's just like meaty filling. And then there's this like very, very old grains processed into this pastry thing, flour, like it's just, yeah, there's not a lot of health going here. How you eat a soup dumpling is you put it in the spoon, you poke it, and then you this with this really yummy ranch that just like coats them what is so this well. Now? I just made my favorite air fryer chicken wings with a oh. protein ranch and it's Wow, she is she's more clueless than ever. I think she's gone downhill like even from before. So delicious. I already ate one clean off the bone if you oh. can see, but I'm gonna have these ones right here. They're so saucy and delicious with this you can see she's always just talking about delicious 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 she's so hungry she's leaving herself to get very very hungry she should be having a substantial fiber filled carbohydrate filled low fat breakfast to start the day without the drugs without the drugos the caffeine and um it's going to be setting her up at least for less of this crap what about the chickens? Why are you stealing their limbs? Why are you stealing their wings? Literally, they use them to fly around with. Like, someone used this wing in their life to fly with and you s stole it and ate it. Really Thank yummy you. ranch that just like coats them so well. Little oh. mukbang, shall we? No, we shall not. I only do like... Oh wow, she's just all about the seasoning. So much salt, so much MSG. It's just an abomination diet. <laughs> and then you give it a mix. Where's the fresh? Steam will combine with it to give you a spicy, cheesy sauce. Chew spicy, the cheesy sauce. Mmm. Best time of night to eat this. Taste this. So, for me, this does not look good at all. This beige look is just not good. Mmm, perfect amount of spice. I have an egg. Oh no, she's added another egg. So she has a high egg diet. She, she is pretending to be a lizard. She thinks she is a lace monitor that like we have here. Um, no, no, you're not. And this is not going to end well for you. Unfortunately, you got to wake up. What are you doing? She must sleep terribly. And no wonder she have PCOS issues and other health issues, honestly. I, and at a young age too. I have to say, I've made it this entire video without forgetting to film a snack, a meal, anything. Usually when I make these videos, I always forget. I don't know how, feeling big brain today. Also, I just have to say, I've been having a lot of fun with this video and finding new things to make at home. Okay, how about, oh my gosh, more eggs. How about rather than just having fun with the video, provide a positive, uh, healthy example for your audience? How about that? You know, so they can follow you and get healthy. You can get healthy together, right? I haven't been hungry till right now. It's like 11 a.m. So we're making like a little brunchy moment. I've got two oh, fries. Like, she is obsessed with eggs. Okay, it is obvious. It is just, wow. Unfertilized reproductive cycle of a chicken. They look terrible. Gooey little snots in the fry pan. No. Eggs right here, which look a little too fried for my liking, but. Oh gosh, a little too fried. Yeah. Oh, what? Um, 
I'm almost speechless. Does she think this is actual human food? What? Star breakfast patties, which are plant based, they taste amazing. Oh, actually, at least they're plant based, but seriously, this is still not food, okay? Like, look, these big companies have just cornered the plant based market, okay? They saw, like, okay, veganism's on the rise, plant based on the rise, we're going to put out products, you know, so we're going to corner that market. They don't care about your health, okay? They might make out they've got a story, and sure, there's some of them that do, but you got to be really suspect them when they put this out as food because it's just not. And you might be like, well, it's better than eating animals. Yes, it is better than eating animals. I do agree. Okay. But the problem is when you eat like this, you feel crap. Okay. You feel crap. And a lot of people, there's a lot of people who end up going back to eating animals because they felt they end up feeling worse eating stuff like this, which is terrible, of course. So that's why I want to educate individuals. And, you know, we do to the fact that we're frugivores and we need a fruit-based diet or we're not going to be satisfied long-term and the animals will suffer. I'm obsessed with plant-based meat alternatives, especially breakfast sausages. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. That is good that she is eating not animals. For my little breakfast platter. All right, we got half an hour. But like, no, it's a no. It's a big fat no from me. This is not going to make her feel good. It's not healthy. I'm not going to lie to you. Avocado obviously is. And I want chocolate. Oh, okay, this is exactly what happens. Let's just rewind here a bit. She's not, you know, obviously this breakfast is not pro providing you with fructose and a sufficient amount of glucose, a lot of fat, a lot of protein, a lot of animal like hormone. Are we cute? I mean, like, well, it, it's not, it's a plant based one, but the eggs, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I want sushi, but more than all of that, I want chocolate. I am. So wow. Okay, she's just going in. She's going in for the bar of chocolate here. Big bar of chocolate. That's a stereotypical girl in her period. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I'm moody. I have cramps. My back hurts. Okay, so this is something I want to quickly talk about is menstruation on the frugivore diet. Amazing. Okay, 11 months in on the frugivore diet, I still had pain, you know, to some extent on the raw till four diet, still had pain. Uh, but compared to previously when I wasn't vegan, it's like night and day, of course, and it improved a lot in raw to four, but it still didn't go away completely. All right. Light flow, but still, you know, discomfort, pain. 11 months in on the frugivore diet, the pain completely went away. And now it's painless. Uh, okay. I might have like a feeling like some months like that it's coming, but other months I don't even know. And it, you know, comes on time and I'm like, wow. That was amazing and painless. And I really believe that's how it should be. And I want chocolate and junk food. And I deserve chocolate and junk food right now. No, you don't. Your body deserves fruit. And like, you're just punishing yourself unnecessarily. Get a clue. Add probably half this bar to the what I eat in a week. <laughs> I don't get my period often, but when I do, it hits hard. And I was... I don't get it often because it's PCOS most likely. She's... Yeah, she's going to have some issues and she's not, she's not addressing them. She's just like, oh, it's party time every meal. Keeping this in the freezer for this moment, it definitely expired late last year and I don't care. I just want to let you all know that I did what? eat the chocolate bar. I had about a third oh of it gosh. and now I'm going to eat a large amount of these taro chips. So it's unfortunate that she kind of thinks it's like kind of cool and acceptable to actually be a poor example for her audience. Because that's what she is. She's a poor example. She's unhealthy. She's obese. And I'm not saying that she's a bad person or anything. But she is eating animals. So she needs to get her ethics in line as well, her morals. Um, but she's just providing a terrible example. And it, it seems to be cool these days to be pathetic, to be unhealthy, uh, to be eating crap. And I'm calling people out on it. Thank you. We are calling people out on it. I'm in a lot of pain and Cal came down and said, what, baby? I think you can break the rule now. I'm giving her an out. <laughs> to, to do what? To, to get food and pay for it, essentially. <laughs> oh, they're just supporting each other in uh, uh, binging. <laughs> See, she has to realize that she's in pain um, almost exclusively from her diet. Okay, it could be exclusively from her diet, but she will never know unless she tries. And she should get on the frugivore diet as soon as possible. Remy, you need to try the frugivore diet. Honestly, but give it a good go. I mean, I, I said 11 months in, 
you know that's when the pain went so if you're in that much pain you need to sort it out it's not healthy <laughs> i'm okay i'm enabling we got all the little sides yeah he's enabling all right so i'm not going to watch a whole video all right because this is well going on too long but let's stop it on this image shall we we've got fish cake cucumber wow hang on what is that even fish cakes and oh gosh so her and her partner are eating terribly they're enabling each other like he said um it's just jumping off the cliff holding hands you know and feeling terrible and it doesn't have to be that way you can actually enjoy your life and enjoy your food and not, and be pain free you know or have a it's i call it a low pain diet because it really helps prevent a lot of pain the frugivore diet in particular or fruit based so that's my video for today she obviously hasn't improved she's gone downhill please let her know i made this video hopefully we can save her i've been trying to save her for literally years and years but she still doesn't get it remy you you have too much pain this is unnecessary you're putting yourself through so much agony for no reason all right don't forget to go for it yourself and i will see you soon